Someone said, if you've never, quote, if you've never done dabs before, where have you been? End quote. Probation, my guy. Probation. Sorry, <laughs> 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 oh, man. Fair enough. Yeah! What's going on, everybody? The nickname to smoke is Avatar Time, like Hocus Pocus Time to hit the bongus. The bongus. I got it right. I got that shit right on the first try. Let's go. Boom. And today is Mystery Box Monday. Let's find. Let's see if you can. I'm dizzy now. Shit. <laughs> Whew. Let's see if you can find a song to match that action. Jeez. Oh, I gotta try to make it hard for you in some way. Anyway, in today's Mystery Box Monday, we got the homies over. Damn, this is heavy. I, I like literally hadn't like f thought about it, but like this is actually heavy. The homies over Daily High Club sent us out their Mystery Box. Feel how heavy that is. It's heavier than most of the Mystery Boxes oh, we get. Oh, shit. Right? Specifically right here. Specifically Something's right there. heavy right here. And they sent us over there, like, I think it's like a, like kind of gnomes and like a, like a trailer. Like, I don't, I don't even know. It's gnomen though. I think it's gnomey. I think this is a gnomey thing. But also, possibly their heaviest mystery box I've ever gotten from them. Almost just went straight into the next sentence without finishing the first. <laughs> Shit. But anyway, if you don't know about Daily High Club, Daily High Club is a monthly subscription box for stoners. They have, uh, well, every month you get like a different glass piece, you get like a lighter, like a bunch of different like little smoking accessories. Shit that like people, like people like me and you will like, you know what I mean? We'll like these things. And every month they send me like a little creator paper so that I know what's in the box so that I can explain it to you. But I usually throw that away. Danny hates when I do that because sometimes there's something in the box and I'm like, what the hell is this? And I gotta go dig through the trash can. Luckily I missed the trash can so I don't gotta dig through it to find the paper and, and, figure, it, and figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> when you open the box up, it's gonna look like this. Like that, with a bunch of packing peenies everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the packing peenies, but for you, it's just gonna look like I covered the, the, the camera with my hand for a second. Came away with the other hand, that's called magic, but all the packing peenies are gone. See? See? Anyway. anyway, inside the box, which is like really cool artwork. I like this a lot, to be honest. <laughs> the little Nomi guy is so cute. Look how cute the little Nomi man is. Can you see him? Is he on the screen? Thank God. Cause I feel like everything's about to fall out of the box if I picked it up any higher than that. First thing we got on top is a nice little tray. Trailer Park Boys tray. I literally was just watching Trailer Park Boys. Like today, <laughs> I restarted it. I didn't realize they had 12 seasons. I don't know if I've seen all 12 seasons and I'm pretty sure like multiple movies that they have, but I just started rewatching the first episode today, you know, just getting out of jail. Fucking Ricky, I, I don't think I've actually seen Bubbles yet because like we, I paused the show to come down here to watch this, but we have seen like, you know, Ricky and What's the other one's name? <laughs> you were just watching. I literally was just watching this. Julian. It's because he doesn't he doesn't look like a Julian to me. I always feel like his name starts with an L, and it doesn't. His name's Julian. But Bubbles is my favorite character. I feel like Bubbles is everyone's favorite character, but well, what can you do? Anyway, we're gonna dive right into the glass piece, because I feel like that's what a lot of people it's still so heavy. That's, it's this stuff over here that's very heavy. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into the glass piece. I know that's what a lot of people like to see first. We'll take a little hit, we'll fill it up, and then we'll get into like what's in the rest of the box. So today we have, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Inside here we have another little bag with our glass piece in it. Here's our little bowl for our flower. And here is our piece. It's, it's a little caravan. A little, little trailer park, if you will. A little trailer. trailer. Park knows. A little trailer. It's got a little hitch and everything. Oh my God, this is so cute. All right, we're gonna fill it up real quick. I'm gonna grind up some tree. We're gonna hit this. Today I have Rainbow Sherb by the homies over at Wildflower Hemp Company. Wildflower Hemp is a perfectly legal 
legal weed. It's 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 just weed. It's THCA. It's wow. I smelled that immediately as soon as I tore that thing. I haven't even I haven't even broke the seal of the bag yet, and I can smell it. That's how strong that is. Look. Didn't even break, didn't even break the seal of the bag yet. So Rainbow Sherb is a balanced hybrid and it's champagne with blackberry. It's been grown using living soil indoors and it's got a berry earthy and sweet scent. Mm. Now if I open the bag like that, <laughs> even more, that is crazy. Oh shit. And it looks so good. So dark. All right. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> he jumped at the chance. <laughs> All right. We're going to fill this up and take a hit. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Let's grind, shall we? Thank you. No problem. Now, where were we? That feels good. Dang, that takes so much water. It literally like goes up to this blue line. Like that's where I have it filled up to, is this blue line of water. This water-like line. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Does it really? Yeah. The license plate says 420 life. That shit's so dope. Also, my, my windows are now all fogged up in here. Oh, there's still, there's still weed in there. I thought they were just dirty. <laughs> That's cool. So cute. I don't even think I got it all. <laughs> Jesus. That's cool. I love this thing. I love this a lot. Do you want to edit? Yes, please. <coughs> oh my gosh, it's so <coughs> heavy. Chunkier than I thought. In yeah. A good, in a good way. In a good way. Here's the lighter. Put that weed away. All right, back into the box. We got a couple more things. We have this little mini clipper lighter. I think these are the cutest things. I have um, a big version of this same one, except for the, the top isn't black. I'm gonna have to change the top of this one out to make it black so that they just match perfectly. Oh, that's so cute together. That'll be so cute next to each other. The only difference is that the, the lettering on the front in, in clipper is different colors. Shit! <laughs> anyway, back into the box, other than the small clipper lighter. We have to take the sticker off, I always forget. Do y'all leave the stickers on your lighters or take them off? I should start a poll about that question. Just see, I wanna see what the, what the consensus is. I feel like everyone takes their stickers off. Also something I love about clippers is you don't have to circumcise clipper lighters, you know what I mean? You know how big lighters have that little like safety thing that goes around here and you gotta stick a fork in there and pop it off and it flies across the room? You don't have to worry about that with clipper lighters. They don't have that little piece of shit thing. Anyway, back into the box, we got a bunch more stuff. We have a pack of papers from High Five, H-I-G-H Five, and it comes with tips, pack of paper and tips. So I have to try these out to see how they are and I'll let, I'll let you know if they're good or not. We also have some more Trailer Park Boys stuff. So Famous also paired with Trailer Park Boys and they brought us this 
50 millimeter grinder. I think that's a two inch, if I'm not, I don't think 50 millimeters is two inch. I don't know. Let's open it up and see it though. I'm gonna rip this box open. I can already feel it about to happen. I did it without ripping the box. <laughs> Ooh, it's green too. Oh, this is gorgeous actually. That's pretty. That's a pretty green. On the bottom it has a little Trailer Park Boys logo and on the front it has all their heads. This is cool. Nice chonky blades in there and the little finger indents so you can hold it. This actually isn't bad. It feels like it's made out of like maybe like aluminum. Nice screen at the bottom, like a chonky screen too. So it'll probably be good for Keith collecting. It's actually not, not a bad grinder. I don't think I own a famous grinder. This is cool. Is this something that famous does with their grinders that I was just unaware of? Like if you look at the, like the grinding parts, it has like little scoops. Do you see it? They have like little scoops that go up into the blade. Only in one direction though. Joe Jonas. No. Is that one direction? I don't f it. That's the Jonas Brothers. Who's in one direction? Who's a one direction person, Danny? You're from that era. <laughs> name, a, name a one directioner. Um, isn't Harry Styles one of them? Harry Styles. <laughs> Actually, the scoops go in opposite directions. The top scoops go the opposite direction of the bottom scoops. So I wonder if Harry Styles is cool. I like the Bubbles is, is front and center. Bubbles always needs to be front and center with everything. All right, what else did we get? We got another Trailer Park Boys thing. This is what was so heavy. This thing's heavy as shit. This is a one hitter, a little one hitter kit. A little one hitter in a dugout. That's cool. Can I open it without f***ing the box up? Definitely not. No, I don't want to rip it. Don't just sit. It's ripped. Rip it. It ripped. F Look at that. Littlest rip. Anyway, in here is a little one hitter and dugout. This is nice. This is like nice metal thing. And you slide it open like that. And out pops your one hitter. Fuck God on me. Like ash or some shit on here already. Weird. Anyway, the one hitter has little fucking pokies in it. And it looks like a cigarette, which I love. And then on the other side, you put, you put your weed in the other side and you just kind of like shove it down in there. There it goes. And you just. That's cool. And then it all fits back together. This is nice. Oh, yeah, it has a little spring. You might have to keep this. This is actually pretty nice. And it's got, once again, it's got their faces, it's got the trailer park boys on the back. This is actually dope. And this thing spins like all the way around. I know you guys have been watching me play with it for a while, but like it spins, it spins all the way around so that you can close it. And then when you go to open it, you know, you got your weed section, you got your putty away guy section, and then it all closes back up. That's so cool. All right, a couple more things, not a lot. We got. Our little gnome Scylla pipe, and his little hat comes off for storage. You can put a little weed in there, and you pop his little hat back on. You can take him out with you and smoke. He's made of silicone, so he uh, won't break. The only thing that can break about him is this little glass piece in here. And I'm sure you can find like a million of them if you really look around online or something, can't you? <laughs> That's basically it. There's only a couple more things. I think just stickers. We didn't get a little dad mat this time. Usually they send a dad mat. Anyway, we got stickers. We got stay wild. A little picture of a flower. A wild flower. A wildflower hemp company. We've got the little daily high club gnome guy. He's all f***ing high and smoking. He looks so funny. I like him. He's cute as shit. We got him again standing next to his little caravan. You like digs? You like digs? Thanks. What? And we got this little stay high, kind of like, it's like everything. It's like fucking aliens and money and fire and mushrooms and monsters. It's, it's everything. That's cool. I like this sticker a lot. That's a dope ass sticker. That is a dope sticker. That's cool as shit. Anyway, that's everything you get in the box. No dab mat this time or, or bong mat or, I think it's just technically a, like a mat for your bong. I think it's a bong mat, not a dab mat. Cause like, I feel like dab mats are specifically made out of silicone and these are usually like a cloth material, but that's everything 
you get inside the box or that bag had the stickers in it. And if you're like me and you just started rewatching Trailer Park Boys, this is a very exciting box to grab because it's so cool that I literally just started rewatching this. I know I like, I didn't know that this shit was in here, I promise. I promise. Because Trailer Park Boys is a fucking dope ass show and it's funny. And I feel like it's like kind of old at this point, but like maybe making a comeback. I don't know. I don't know, but like it like literally came right. It was like the second option on like one of my Netflix, like on Netflix. I was like on Netflix and it was like 30 minute laughs and it was like something else and then Trailer Park Boys. And I was like, damn, I haven't watched Trailer Park Boys in forever. So I wanted to just kind of relive some of those moments and then boom, Trailer Park Boys box. That's crazy. If you like everything you saw here today, I, don't, I think these, these boxes don't run much. And honestly, this box for everything that I got in it is a freaking steal. Cause these boxes are like $29.99. If you use my code, I think it's either flipping loud or flip 10. It's one of those two. It'll save you 10% off uh, your first purchase though. So if you want this box for, what's that, 27 bucks? 27 bucks instead of 30 bucks. I got you, fam. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit normal YouTubers do at the end of their videos. I'll tell you to do at the end of their videos. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. That was weird. Anyway, bye. See you in a second for the bonus sesh Patreon. Also, fun, fun, fun fact about the raw ethereals are is that they're so thin that they will never burn correctly. <laughs> <laughs> like this cocksucker here, I found him in a storm drain. Fucking name spray painted on him. And burdocks all fucking stuck to him. But I cleaned them all up. Look at them. That's one fucking nice kitty right there.